The new meta in crypto investing is airdrop farming. Ethereum layer 2 solutions are especially juicy because they offer a very high valuation and therefore a very big airdrop. You've clicked on the right video to get Mode's upcoming airdrop. Mode is equipping developers with the tools to scale applications and offering users more lucrative yields. It aims to reward early adopters and welcome new participants. Through mechanisms like sequencer fee sharing and user referral fees, Mode ensures that contributors to the ecosystem are appropriately rewarded. With Optimism's Bedrock upgrade, Mode's transaction fees are slashed by over 95% compared to Ethereum, making it a highly cost-effective solution. Built on the OP stack, Mode benefits as well from a significant 2 million OP grant, uh, showcasing that the uh, project has backing. The recent airdrop announcement has significantly boosted Mode's adoption with assets over 64 million US dollars bridged. The DeFi apps have also secured more than 25 million in TVL. On January 31st, Mode announced an airdrop of 550 million Mode tokens. Uh, that's 5.5% of its future supply. Um, that should help to incentivize engagement and reward early users. The airdrop has different uh, phases. In April, 400 million mode tokens are unlocked and afterwards uh, we'll see a special lottery and also additional tokens uh, being unlocked if uh, certain TVL uh, limits are reached. The airdrop campaign extends uh, beyond mode users. Um, it's including uh, past users of more than 140 protocols across Ethereum and Layer 2 solutions and NFT holders as well. Great, now we know why it makes sense to farm the airdrop. Let's get into the tasks. At first you enter your invite code. You can get these from social media. Then connect your Twitter account. And finally connect your wallet. Has to be a MetaMask or something else. A rabbi is not yet supported. Then we're going to bridge some assets from Ethereum mainnet, so this will be a little bit costly. And then you can see your current points uh, that you get boosted rewards. These are active uh, for 24 more hours. And you can explore the ecosystem and uh, this ecosystem interactions give you double points. Let's start with the first uh, DEX. Uh, it's a native protocol on mode. And as usual, uh, you connect your wallet, you switch the network, uh, MetaMask adds a uh, mode network automatically. You can explore which assets they have and then you can check which pools are available, what AP APR they offer. And then we'll swap some tokens. Let's uh, swap some ETH. You should always check the price impact and the slippage. Um, on a new DEX with not a lot of liquidity, the, you might need a little bit more uh, slippage. On an established bigger DEX, it should always be 0 0.1 if possible. And you just uh, do a first transaction. Done. Great. Uh, now that we have uh, two tokens, uh, we can provide some liquidity. And we'll just uh, take uh, ETH and USDT because the APR is actually quite good and uh, provide uh, these two as liquidity. Nice. That's it for the first protocol. Let's uh, switch to the next one, uh, Yonic, a lending and borrowing protocol. And basically the only thing you can do right now is uh, supply and uh, lend some assets. I chose to do this with uh, ETH, but I need a wrapped ETH for that. Um, wrap your ETH uh, directly here in the protocol. I just did that. Good thing is you also generate more transactions on the blockchain that can be a factor uh, in the airdrop. Then you might need to refresh the site and uh, afterwards you can supply your wrapped ETH or any other token that you choose. And of course you also have to enable it as collateral if you want to borrow something in the future when that uh, function is available. The last protocol is Space ID. You can get a domain name there. And that's basically it, what we can do right now on Mode Network. 
All right, friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more DeFi insights and airdrop alpha. See you on the other side.